Our research center is devoted to Stone Age archaeology. So we're looking at the origins of human culture and technology starting two and a half million years ago. And most people don't realize it, but 99.5% of human technological history took place in the Stone Age. So what we are as a species, biologically, psychologically, is a product of that Stone Age past. And people often ask us, why Bloomington, Indiana? And it's because we already had a strong association with a major research university, Indiana University. So we had the strong affiliation, a very good relationship, and it allowed us to really build the research team of our institute and of Indiana University at the same time. We have a number of projects. We have uh, Seleshi Sama, who works in Ethiopia. He has the oldest archaeological sites in the world, going back to over two and a half million years ago. Uh, Mohamed Sanuni, who works at Ain Hanesh in Algeria. Parth Chauhan, who works in the Narmada Valley of India, and also works in Yemen. And Kathy and I have been uh, heavily involved recently on teaching uh, modern uh, pygmy chimpanzees uh, to make and use stone tools as well. This is an ex in, in an experimental setting in uh, Des Moines, Iowa. Okay, by two and a half million years ago, our ancestors learned that you needed a sharp edge on a piece of stone to knock a flake off, like that. These are razor sharp pieces of stone. This is the core and the flake that was struck off of it. And they would just go around in a sequence here. And I think these were the key for our ancestors. You can't find sharp things in nature, but in a split second you can knock off one of these bits. And these are sharp enough to even cut up an elephant with. We've done this experimentally on elephants that have died of natural causes in the wild. So we do a lot of experiments making stone tools and using them. And this involves both the human element here, the human researchers, but also investigating what our closest living relatives, the apes, the chimpanzees, their stone tool making abilities. And we have one of the best libraries in the world for Paleolithic ar archaeology and human evolutionary studies. In the room we're sitting in, we have uh, over 40,000 books and articles on the subject, so that it's an incredible resource for our researchers to be able to use. In this library in Great Room, we inherited our professor's uh, collection of books, Desmond Clark from the University of California, who was the world's expert on African archaeology. So we wanted this to become the centerpiece of the building. So we put a lot of time and effort into designing this room for seminars as well as research. And uh, throughout this library, above the bookcases, we have casts of fossil skulls of ancient humans going from about six million years ago to modern times as well as a range of uh, casts of fossil animal skulls as well. All the originals are in the museums around the world where they're, where they're housed but uh, it's a great place to look at the uh, scope of human evolution over the last six million years.